Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Now this is part of my horology series and what I'm going to demonstrate today now this is just the unboxing and the review of this new uh, really nice leather strap that I got that I'm going to install on a uh, JJ LeCoupe. But I wanted to uh, take this out of the sack. You can check the video description for where I got it. i uh, super impressed with the uh, <clears throat> with the cosmetic look of it came in a very simple packaging it said uh, men's alligator grain watch band natural matte finish brown 20 millimeter now the 20 millimeter is important because based upon the timepiece that you're installing it on you need to make sure that your uh, what you can do you can check the uh, the lug LUG the lug size of a timepiece to determine what uh, what size strap would be most appropriate so uh, this right here, and I'll bring it closer to the camera so you can see, just a really nice inside part, which it says is somewhat water resistant. I mean, obviously it's a it's a leather watch strap, so you're not going to be wearing it wearing it swimming or anything like that. But if you got sweaty, it would be somewhat resistant. It just says genuine leather, 20 R. And then you can see there, it's got a really nice. Uh, I'll put it down here in the light. It's got a really nice crocodile or I'm sorry alligator pattern now although I do have some genuine crocodile and alligator straps for some of my time pieces I like the uh, the leather a little bit more and the reason being is that it's it, it feels softer and it's not as shiny and it it uh, it just it just feels better on the wrist in my opinion than the than the genuine croc or genuine alligator not to say there's anything wrong with those because I, I use those straps at times too but that's this piece and then the other piece that came with it is the other side, and it says, uh, let's see, is that a little sticker on that? No, it's just a little ridge, I guess, where they, where they did it. But it says, on the inside here, it says JP, JP Leatherworks. And then you got a nice buckle, a stainless steel buckle which matches the uh, stainless steel JJ LeCoupe Master Control that I'm going to mount this on in the next video. But I mean, it's really hard to find a quality watch strap nowadays, especially for an affordable price like this. Like I said, check out the, uh, the link to where I ordered this from Amazon. But I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with the build quality. The stitching is top-notch. The inside, like I mentioned earlier, is soft and... Uh, seems to be somewhat water resistant and I think it's just really going to make this uh, uh, this JJ LeCoute uh, that I purchased on a uh, on a stainless bracelet I think it's really going to make it look awesome but uh, thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already youtube.com forward slash irixguy and enjoy all of my horology videos I've got a lot up already and I'll have a lot more coming soon and again the next video that I'm going to post is actually installing this uh, this bracelet or strap rather right here on my JJ LeCoupe Master Control 40 millimeter. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.